Hello. This video is going to take you through the Blackboard Collaborate Session Checklist. This session checklist covers many of the common steps that you'll want to take before you start your Blackboard Collaborate session. The first thing that you're going to want to do before you even join your session is to make sure that any external microphones or webcams that you need are connected. Next, prepare any files like PowerPoint presentations or web pages that you'll be using during your presentation. Get those files all ready to go. You may also want to close any extra windows or applications that you have open so things don't pop up or distract you during your session. Now, join the session. Currently, Blackboard Collaborate's load content button is not working. So to share PowerPoint presentations or other documents with your viewers, you'll need to use the application sharing. Once you're in the session, make sure to click the talk button so that participants can hear you and so that your voice will be recorded if you're recording your session. After you press the talk button, you can see that the volume level is going up and down as you speak. If you're having trouble with audio, run the audio setup wizard. This can be accessed from the Audio and Video Options button, and then Audio Setup Wizard. Click the Video button if you'd like to send out your webcam video to participants. If you're having trouble with video, you can check your camera settings by selecting the Camera Settings option under the Audio and Video menu option. You may need to manually select your webcam. Lastly, click the record button to begin recording your session. Press OK when you're ready. To stop recording, click the recording button. The recording button replaces the record button when the session is being recorded. To access the whiteboard, click the whiteboard icon. To share your screen for displaying web pages or PowerPoint presentations, click the application sharing icon. Click Share Desktop, and then click the Share button. Anything on your desktop will now be sent out to all participants. To stop sharing your screen, select Tools, Application Sharing, and Stop Sharing. To give participants permission to do things, Click the icon next to the participant that corresponds to the action you would like to allow them to have. Click the icon again to revoke the permission. The microphone indicates talking. The webcam indicates video. The chat bubble indicates chat. The pencil indicates whiteboard. The double windows indicates application sharing. And the globe indicates web tour. You'll probably want to give all participants chat access so they can use the chat window down below. To give all participants a particular permission, click the icon that corresponds to the permission you'd like to give them along the top. Hopefully this session checklist helps and happy collaborating.